Hi, my name is Marco Cantu and I'm here to guide you through a small series of videos about REST development uh, in Delphi. Uh, I'm the author of several Delphi books and there's one coming for Delphi 2010 as well, conference speaker, teacher, consultant, mentor on both Delphi and web technologies and that's why this topic is a topic I'm uh, particularly interested in. Uh, for the first video, I'm going to create a first simple uh, Delphi REST client uh, uh, step by step. Our REST client uh, will actually be an RSS client, uh, a client for um, a blog feed. Uh, and specifically, I'm going to hook into DelphiFeeds.com and in the final application, we'll be able to grab this information and up display it in a totally custom way. Um, the way RSS and Atom feeds are exchanged is one of the most relevant proofs of the relevance of REST, of a simple HTTP-based uh, protocol for exchanging information over the web, as there are millions of sites exchanging uh, data in this format. The site we're going to hook to is DelphiFeeds.com, which is a very popular destination for uh, Delphi developers. It basically assembles a bunch of different uh, blog feeds into a single unified interface, and it has got a feed connection. So what we can actually do is to hook into the data and not to the user interface of the application. If we copy this hyperlink here, what we can do is to move to a client application capable of displaying uh, HTML, uh, sorry, XML out of a hyperlink. And this is the data that uh, we're going to have to work with. So how do we create a Delphi application for this? Let's create a new VCL Forms application. Let's add a small memo control to it. Let's add an indie HTTP client component. And let's make this bigger and add a small button. And now, as we hit the button, all we have to do is to grab our indie HTTP component, issue a GET request, provide the URL, and the result of this call is actually the text that we can display in our memo component, sorry. So that's how simple it can be to have this application up and running. Now, of course, the kind of user interface we have here is not particularly nice, so what we need to do to complete our project is to extract information from the uh, from this uh, data structure. Now, the simplest way to achieve that is to add another component, uh, an XML document component, and rather than grabbing the information right into the memo control, what we can do is to load the information inside the uh, XML document. Okay, so we load into the text of, in, of the XML document this data, and then what we have to do is to open the uh, XML document. That's it. That's what we need to have the data inside a DOM. Uh, 
Now this won't get anything visual. The next step would be to do some processing of the XML using either the DOM interface or XPath. Uh, but that's something I can actually show you in the final version of the program. This is the complete code for the program I showed at the beginning. Uh, if we go to the update button, it's slightly more complex. There's still the get call for the HTTP component. There is still the loading from XML and activation. Now what I do, I extract a IDOM selection interface that's used for XPath processing. And again, that's described in more detail in the white paper. And I use this DOM selection to navigate through the data. So I'm going to hook into the RSS node, the channel subnode, the first, second, third item. So this is just a numeral. And then grab some of the information for the feed items, the title, author, and publication date. And again, if you run this program, as we already did before, we can extract the title, the author, and the sorry this is the author this is the title and if we move further there is the date uh, this uh, entry was posted so that's it that's all it took us uh, just two simple components and the core of the code is just it's just two lines to have a remote to call into a remote REST server providing XML, loading into a document, and then uh, processing it uh, within our Delphi application. Uh, that's all for the first video. Um, to, I'll follow the next one for some more interesting uh, Delphi client applications for REST.